I am blown away by what Allah has allowed me to do this past year. I've opened up the first public speaking academy in the world for Muslims. I'm a TEDx and international speaker and I was awarded top 50 most influential Muslims in Europe. But there was one story that I was afraid to share for so long. For years, I had no idea how to use my voice. The girl who had been on stages in front of thousands, broken from a toxic marriage where I was afraid to speak, walking on eggshells, no idea who I was anymore, let alone how to voice my own thoughts. In 2020, I became a single mom to four incredible children. But I knew I had to rebuild myself, find a way so they would be able to eat. But every door shut in my face. Everywhere I turned, no one wanted to hear me looking like this. The only thing I'd ever done my entire life was train for the stage and knees trembling. I started up my own business. Before I knew it, I had 10,000 women and more buying into my business from all over the world. And I started to get calls again. People inviting me to speak on platforms like TEDx, a platform with over one billion viewers, a platform I would stand in front of the mirror with a hairbrush as a child. I finally understood the power of your voice in authenticity. I got called to speak on topics like children of war, to speak for children who are voiceless, to speak about Palestine, to speak about people who can't get up and use the mic themselves. That's the power of your voice. And when you know how to use it strategically, the doors that can open are unimaginable. Finding my voice required me to dig deep and remember who I am, my dreams, and overcome my fears. And now I love helping other women to do the same. I've worked with big brand owners, women working in their dream careers, mothers, Muslim women, because no one else can share our stories. It's time to speak up, to change the narrative. It's time to use your voice.